Hi, I'm Jim Stout from ADSR Sounds, and in this video, we are gonna take a look at Digital Brain Instruments VoxPad 2. Now, VoxPad 2 actually has a very interesting backstory. Many years ago, I did a video on how to make monster voices, and that was using my voice and a high-resolution vocoder with animal sounds to create all kinds of unique, interesting, very convincing monsters. And ever since I made that video, I've had so many people reach out to me and asking me how can they create monster voices without having to buy a $2,000 synthesizer? Well, the answer to that question is actually VoxPat. So VoxPat took that initial concept of vocoding and animal sounds and very organic textures and multiplied it times a thousand. So without further ado, let's have a quick rundown of the controls of VoxPat. Let's take a look at the way VoxPat is laid out. There are two microphone inputs. These are your real-time inputs and you can mix between the two in real time. There is a player, and the player is located up here, and this will play back any audio file you need. It comes preloaded with groans, hisses, and grunts. So let's have a listen. Nice. There is also a multiplayer, and in the multiplayer you can have four different waveforms going in at the same time. You can reverse them, loop them, change the pitch, change the speed, and the volume, all right here from the player. Next is instrument. This is where you can load any VST or AU instrument. I've been using the Tau sampler. This allows me to have multiple samples across the keyboard, and I can just trigger them in real time. I, I, no, no, no. Ghosts, goblins, humans are such... Now the reason I use a sampler is because I can have Do multiple not, samples not. across the keyboard and trigger them all in real time. Plus, if I need to do any additional sample manipulation, I can do it right here in the sampler. So let's listen to what we've got in here. Do you want to see something scary? Do no more teasing. No more delays. Ghosts, goblins, ghouls, and freaks. Welcome to humans are such easy prey. Now the samples that we're using are actually from Voices from Beyond. This is a product that we made last Halloween, and it's a series of male and female characters doing a bunch of scary lines of dialogue. So we're gonna use that as the basis of this example. Moving on, let's take a look at the effect, the basic effects section. There are four pre-designed effects, and that is fear, beast, roar, and burst. So if you just need to get in and make some kind of, you know, ominous sounding voice, you can do it real easy just with these parameters. I will show you things you've never seen. Listen to beast. I will show you things you've never seen and roar, and each one of these gets a little bit lower. I will show you things you've never seen. And then finally with burst, and this is all mixed with the dry signal so you can kind of see how it sounds together. I will show you things you've never seen. So let's have a listen to these independently without any dry signal. I will show you things you've no more teasing, no more delays. It's time to play. There's a lot of low end energy in that. No more teasing, no more delays. It's time to play. So those are the pre-designed effects, and you can generally get something very useful out of the, just those four settings. But there's more, there's a lot more in VoxPad. Let's take a listen to Noiser. And Noiser is basically two different noise effects. Noise A can be a combination of white noise and pink noise, and Noise B is, a com is basically FM noise. No more delay, no more teasing. No more delays. It's time to play. So that will add a lot of kind of throat elements to it. Next is Mammal. And Mammal's a very interesting one. This is an audio effect that generates Mammal sounds depending on the selected settings. So the Mammal sound can be used as a carrier signal for convolution processing and is modulated by the input signal. No more teasing. No more delays. It's time to play. 
And again, we're using actual dialogue for this. So sometimes for roars and certain other things, it will have a completely different effect. But that's one of the things about BoxPad. You need to really play with it. Next is Shifter, and this consists of six pitch shifting effects. Another great feature on here is the input sensing. So you can set different pitches to come in based on dynamics. So we've got something very quiet, can be very high. As it gets louder, it can get lower. Very handy. Next is the sample convolution. This is an amazingly useful tool because you can load any sound in here and then process sounds with sample convolution. So let's listen to this sample going through scrapes and scratches. No more teasing. No more delays. It's time to play. And there's some funny things in here, so let's add in an elephant. No more teasing. No more delays. It's time to play. And this one's really funny. This is actually a cow. No more teasing. No more delays. It's time to play. <laughs> That's great. Next is the sample player. And the sample player basically will just trigger any other sample you have or any other kind of sound you need in addition to what's the other sounds that are being processed. So for here, we can add in, let's say, another cow moo. <laughs> or we can add in some lion growls. And you can have up to four different sounds happening at this time as well. So you can get interesting with adding different elements to the sound. Now, plug-in morph. Plugin Morph allows you to load another VST or AU instrument and use that as a modulator. And for Plugin Morph, I'm using chip sounds, and this is basically an emulation of all the classic video game chips. So everything from SID stations to classic Atari stuff. No more teasing, no more delays. It's time to play. And you can use any other kind of sound you want. So you can actually load in another sampler in here if you wanted to and use that as a convolution process. This is very close to what I was doing with the original vSynth. Next is Spectral. So Spectral Shifter allows you to basically just process a different range of the audio. No more teasing. No more delays. It's time to play. And then next is D-Pitch. And this is a delayed pitch shifter. You can create very, very kind of almost otherworldly kind of sounds with this. And you've got a classic ring modulator as well. This is very handy for creating classic Star Wars type sounds. And the ring modulator basically processes the input signal through two sideband ring modulators. And finally, plugs. Plugs allows you to add, and again, any other VST or AU plugin directly inside the chain here. So for this example, I am using the Little Alter Boy by Sound Toys. It's got a great format and pitch shifter in here. So turn that up. No more teasing. No more delays. It's time to play. No more teasing. No more delays. It's time to play. So that is basically what the effects do in here. And you can see there's a lot of parameters that you can use to fine tune your recording. So great, you've got all these really, really cool effects. So how do you record it all? All you do is hit record. There's a recorder in here. And one other fun final feature that I do love about this, and it's based in the player, so we can have, if once we get everything set up the way we want and we just need to process a single line of dialogue or say somebody, you know, the, the producers come back and they've got a single line of ADR line that's got to get back into it, but you've got to process it the exact same way. Everything you do can be saved. All the parameter settings, every, all the presets that you have in here, everything will be saved inside of BoxPap. You can just load it up, load it with the one sound that you need, and then just process it. 
and it will save it to your folder and boom, you've got the process sound. So let's say you get a call from a movie producer or a game developer and they've got a problem. The last sound designer they hired, they weren't happy with the results. It didn't match what they had in their mind. It didn't match the character. For whatever reason, it sounded too digital. It wasn't convincing. The list goes on and on. But it's always exciting when you, when you get these phone calls. But at the same time, it's also nerve wracking because the time frame is always condensed and they need it by ne next week. Boxpat is perfect for these kind of scenarios because you can make short work of any kind of dialogue and generate all kinds of very interesting convincing monster sounds very quickly. So for this example, we're going to use two voices. We're going to use a male and a female voice. And like I said earlier, we're going to be using from uh, samples from Voices from Beyond. This is a product that we did uh, last year and, it's, and it consists of uh, a male and a female character. So we're going to take this, and the first character that we need to create is kind of a devilish, demonic, um, Tim Curry legend kind of devil. So he just needs to be big, but you still need to be able to understand everything he says. So for here, like I mentioned earlier, I'm actually using the towel sampler just to play back sounds. And that way I can have all the dialogue right on my keyboard, and I can just trigger voices as I need it. So we've got these samples loaded up. things you've... No more teasing. No more teasing. Ghosts, goblins, ghouls. I will show you. I will show you things you've never seen. So that's what they sound like dry. So we've got to turn this into a big demon devilish kind of character. I will show you. So let's start with fear you. first. I will show you things you've never seen. And one of the other great things I love about VoxPad is all of the controls, all of these can be assigned to MIDI controllers. So I've got all the faders on my System 8 here assigned to the levels inside of VoxPad so we can just kind of mix and match as we go along. I will show you things you've never seen. And right off the bat, that's really close. So let's add in a little bit of roar and get some of that super low wind on it. I will show you things you've never seen. It's really, really close. But let's add a little bit more to it. Let's go to the sample convolution and let's add in a dog growl, make sure it's looped. And we'll turn it up a little bit. I will show you things you've never seen. Really, really close. I will show you things you've never seen. Let's add in a little bit of the burst. I will show you things you've never seen. So you deliver it, and then they call you back and say, hey, this is great. This is really, really close to what we're looking for. But there's one thing we forgot to tell you. This demon actually has cybernetic parts to him as well. Okay, we can handle that. For that, we would go into Plugin Morph. So the Plugin Morph allows you to add another VST or AU instrument in here. And for this, I'm actually using um, Prolog's Chip Tunes because it's basically an amazing emulation of all the classic old school sound chips. Right here, I've got this, and we wanna add in a little bit more of a, an artificial character to it. So not so much digital, but just kind of something that just doesn't sound right. No more teasing. No more delays. It's time to play. No more teasing. No more delays. It's time to play. Okay, cool. So now we've got another element in there that we've added, and that kind of gives it that cybernetic stuff. Then you get a call back and they say, hey, this is great. This is perfect. Exactly what we're looking for. We need to make it sound like it's paranormal. Okay. <laughs> so, for a paranormal effect, let's use D-Pitch. And D-Pitch is basically a delayed pitch shifter. No more teasing. No more delays. It's time to play. So we can set the delay time. No more teasing. No more delays. It's time to play. So, boom you kind of have that otherworldly texture going on there, right there. And you send that back in and they love it. So now it's time for the second character. We need a kind of witchy, evilly kind of female character. 
So we can, and if we want, we can just save this and recall this anytime we need to, and it's the exact daemon voice that they love. So let's start over again, and we'll use... Ghosts, goblins, ghouls, and freaks, welcome to your worst nightmare. So we need, they wanted kind of witchy and evilly. So I say let's... Let's start again with the basics. Let's go with fear. Ghosts, goblins, ghouls, and freaks. Welcome to your worst nightmare. We're going to have a frightfully good time. But we need it a little, little eerier. So let's use the sample convolutions in here. Go back to this. Let's, and let's use one of the other dog growls. Ghosts, goblins, ghouls, and freaks. Welcome to your worst nightmare. We're going to have a frightfully good time. Let's add in Noiser. Ghosts, goblins, ghouls, and freaks. Welcome to your worst nightmare. We're going to have a frightfully good time. And again, since all of these are assigned to controllers, you can mix and match in real time. Ghosts, goblins, ghouls, and freaks. Welcome to your worst nightmare. We're going to have a frightfully good time. Ghosts, goblins, ghouls, and freaks. Welcome to your worst nightmare. We're gonna have a frightfully good time. So it's getting there. It's definitely kind of evil sounding. Humans are such easy prey. And then you send that in, they say, we love it, it's great, but again, we need it to be otherworldly again. Not a problem. Let's use the D pitch on it. Ghosts, goblins, ghouls, and freaks. Welcome to your worst nightmare. We're going to have a frightfully good time. And then they come back and they say, well, it's getting close, but we feel like it's a little too pitchy. We want it a little bit more organic sounding. Ghosts, goblins, ghouls, and freaks. Welcome to your worst nightmare. We're going to have a frightfully good time. But I think what we need to do is we need to mess with the foreman a little bit. We can go back to our plug section. And I remember earlier I said I have a little altar boy loaded up in here from the Sound Toys. Let's view that. And then we can actually mess with the format and do some additional pitch shifting. Ghosts, goblins, ghouls, and freaks. Welcome to your worst nightmare. We're going to have a frightfully good time. Ghosts, goblins, ghouls, and freaks. Welcome to your worst nightmare. We're going to have a frightfully good time. Ghosts. Humans are such easy prey. So it is very, it's very light, it's very sinister sounding, and they say, hey, we want it boomy in voice, and she turns into this other kind of monster. Okay, not a problem. Let's add in some beast. Ghosts, goblins, ghouls, and freaks. Welcome to your worst nightmare. We're going to have a fight for a good time. Ghosts, goblins, ghouls, and freaks. Welcome to your worst nightmare. We're going to have a frightfully good time. So I hope you can see how Voxpad has got so many different parameters, so many different ways to make very interesting monsters and creatures and demonic voices, all these other things that are very, very useful in here. And if Voxpad doesn't have it, you can find a plugin that does and use it inside of Voxpad and process everything you need to. Then you can save it all, recall it at any time. You've got real-time control, you've got batch converting. So if you've got a whole pile of dialogue that somebody sends you, you can just drop it in Voxpad, process all the audio files, and then redump them in your timeline. For any sound designer who is making games, horror movies, anything else, just any sound designer in general, Voxpad is an amazing tool to help you create all kinds of different dialects, different voices, and different creatures. So I'm Jim Stout for ADSR Sounds. Please remember to hit subscribe and like on this video. And there's a lot more sound design tutorials coming in the future. But like I said, pick up Voxpad. It is one of the most amazing tools for creating monsters, voices, scary sounds, and otherworldly textures. So thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.